Hey guys, it's a pleasure to have you back here on Will EduTech and in this video we'll be looking at question 2B taken from the January 2012 uh, CSEC math exam past paper. Okay, now here they have given us, here they have given us uh, some algebraic expressions and they have asked, they are asking us to factorize them. We have here x squared minus 16 and that's a one mark okay this is pretty easy however um, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be showing you how to factorize this quickly but just for the persons who may not be getting it I'm going to go through a longer method which will explain the concepts uh, a little clearer okay my friends so just bear with me now um, what 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 they're saying here if you notice in in this in this in this first expression we have x squared minus 16 now what you call this we have a general we, we call this this has a general name we call it a difference of two squares okay if you notice what is happening x is being squared and I have a minus a square term okay and what do I mean by a square term we know that 4 times 4 will give us 16 so 16 is a square term okay so the general form of a difference of two squares and I'm just going to make uh, some quick jottings right here is a squared minus b squared okay now to factorize um, this algebraic expression a difference of two squares it's simply what I'm doing it's like I'm taking the square root of the first term so the square root of a square would be a okay because we know that the square would cancel out with the square root and I am putting back my negative sign and I'm is as if I'm taking the square root of the second term okay so I'll, I'll have a B here okay because you know that the square root will cancel out with the square again and here I will have a a minus B and to, to make this completely factorized what I'm gonna be doing inside the next bracket I'm going to put back my a and my b also but if you notice inside this bracket I had a minus sign but inside this one I'm going to put a plus sign okay so that's basically how you how you factorize a difference of two squares if you notice it's just one mark okay so basically if you should apply the same concept here I can say then x my x let me just change the color I can say now take the square root of x square I would have an x and take the square root of 16 I would have a minus 4 okay and I'm just putting that in a bracket and I'm going to put back the same thing in another bracket x I'm multiplying it out okay x and I'm going to put my 4 but because I have a negative sign here I'm going to put a positive sign there okay my friends so that's how a difference of two squares is factorized but I've promised to show you the general concept okay so let me just pull up my screen a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with okay I think that should be good enough now a difference of two squares if you notice and let's just go back to some basics and uh, I must say if you're not sure as to what is happening you could always check out our playlist on quadratic factorization okay I have a lot of work examples there that you can consume okay my, my friends um, it will be very useful especially with your exams coming up just show you the general concept of how we get this x minus 4 and x plus 4 the general form of a quadratic is a x squared plus b x plus c that's a ge the general form of a quadratic expression now if you notice what is happening here we have a term in x square at the front then we have a term in b in x rather in the middle and then we have the constant c at the end so if you should look carefully at the problem that they gave us here which is x squared minus 16 if you notice in that problem we didn't get a a, a x term the middle term was missing and let me just underline it in red this term was missing okay so basically we could just use a zero to represent that so I can say if, if, if I'm going to represent that now I can say okay let me put back the x squared x squared no and since I didn't have a middle term what I'm gonna do I'm going to use 0 for my B so I'm going to replace B with 0 because 0 times anything is 0 and then I'm going to put back my six my minus 16 now okay my negative 16 so if you notice this here this that I have here 
my friends this that I have right here that I am putting in this rectangular box and my original here the original problem up there they are the same things it's same exact thing because this is x squared and I have a x squared there and then I have no term in x in the middle and if you notice what I did I said I have 0x so 0 times x is basically 0 and then I have my minus 16 at the end and if you notice I have my negative 16 there so basically what this is saying is that my friends uh, you can use the AC method to factorize a quadratic because this is a quadratic so AC method would say then that a is the coefficient of x squared if you notice that the a is before the x squared and what the coefficient of x squared in this case would be 1 because when you don't see a number there you have basically an invisible one okay so a is 1 and then I'm multiplying that by my negative 16 negative 16 so when I multiply the product of AC 1 times negative 16 I will get a negative 16 so basically what I need now I need factors of negative 16 when I add them I get a 0 my b in the middle okay Okay, my friends, so we let's list our factors of 16, negative 16. So I have a 1 times 16 will give us a 16, and also 4 times 4 will give us a 16. But I 4 times 4, positive 4 times positive 4 will give me a positive 16, but I need a negative 16. So obviously, I'm going to have to change the sign on one of my 4. So now I have a negative 4 times a positive 4 will give me a negative 16, which is good. And when I add negative 4 to 4, for, I will get a 0 which is my B right there that I'm looking for okay so these two factors these are what I'm looking for so I can go ahead now my friends and say x squared minus and I'm just replacing the 0 x with my factors minus 4 x and I'm, I have a positive 4 there now, positive 4x plus 4x rather, minus 16, my negative 16 here, okay? So basically, when factorizing, you're finding what is common by grouping. So I am looking at these two first terms here, this these two terms by grouping. And I'm taking out what is common, so I'm saying x is common to both terms. So x into x squared, x will cancel, x leaving me with an x. And x into negative 4, x will leave me with a negative 4. Okay, then the sign that is here, I'm just going to take that down. And I'm doing the same thing here. I'm looking for what is common for to 4x and negative 16. So 4x and negative 16, a 4 is common. So let me take out my 4 and bring it down. So open bracket now, I'm saying 4 into 4x will leave me with an x okay and then 4 into negative 16 will leave me with a negative 4 okay now if you notice what is happening the same thing I have in my bracket over here is the same thing I have in my bracket over on that side so basically I'm just going to take out what is common to one of my bracket I have an x minus 4 okay and put that in a bracket and then I am I can just divide through by x minus 4 and it's just as if you're combining what's on the outside so I would have an x there on the outside so I'm putting that x there and over here I would have a positive 4 so I'm putting a positive 4 there in my bracket okay my friends and that would be your answer so this is just the general concept of what is happening okay and if you notice the same answer that I end up with here is the same answer we had gotten right there initially okay so if you can see it right off the bat please just go ahead and do this but just for the just for some of my friends who 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 are very appreciative of the concepts they have been really inboxing us about the way in which we explain stuff to them and they understand it a lot better so i just decided to do this just in case you weren't seeing this method okay my friends so that's part one now let's quickly look at part two let me just split the screen a bit Come on now my friends, here we have another easy two marks to collect, so let's just quickly get into it. If you notice here, we have a quadratic again working with, okay? Uh, we have 2x squared minus 3x plus 8x minus 12, and they're asking us to factorize this expression completely. Now if you notice in this quadratic, they have given us our middle terms, okay? We have a minus 3 and a plus 
well, negative 3x rather, plus 8x, okay? So since they have given us our middle term, we wouldn't have to go through all this process by finding factors. They gave it to us. So we can just quickly get into this. So basically, I'm just factorizing by comparison. I'm just going to compare these first two terms and take out what is common. Now, when you look here at 2x squared, minus 3x, we would have realized that an x is common. So I'm going to take out my x and open bracket x into 2x squared. I would have a 2 there and x would cancel one of the x's. So I would have a 2x left over minus x into negative 3x. The x would cancel that x there. Okay. And I would be left with a negative 3. Now I'm just going to take down my sign that is there, which is a positive sign, and I'm going to simply ask myself what is common to 8 and negative 12, 8x and negative 12 rather, and I have a 4 that is common, okay? 4 into 8 goes 2 times, and I have an x left over there, and then now I am saying 4 into negative 12 goes negative 3 three times okay so I can just simply close my bracket quickly now if you notice again my friends as the rule states when you're factorizing quadratics okay what you get in one of the brackets here it must be the same thing that you get in that bracket there that is what tells you that if you that you're on the right track rather now and as I've said if you're if you're not clear or not sure I have a playlist up on quadratic factorization you could always just check out our playlist and search for quadratic factorization there are a lot of examples there okay now when you have this now guys um, I'm just going to write rewrite down what's inside one of my brackets if you notice it's the same thing so I can say I have a 2x minus 3 okay I just took out what's inside one of my brackets and it's as if I'm combining what's on the outside of the other brackets okay so it's as if I'm saying okay I have an x out there so I'm opening my bracket because essentially what you're doing you're dividing through by 2x minus 3 so I'm saying 2x minus 3 into x times 2x minus 3 2x will cancel 2x so I'm left with this x there okay that's essentially what you're doing and then I'm, I'm going at, at it again and I'm saying 2x minus 3 into 4 times 2x minus 3 and obviously this 2x minus 3 would cancel out that so it's as if I'm saying I'm writing down back my positive 4 okay so one quick way of remembering it is that it, you are writing down what's inside one of the bracket inside one of the brackets and you're combining what's on the outside in the next and that's my answer hope this was helpful and feel free to comment or ask a question if you are not sure about a particular topic and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye